You can either walk with the turkeys or fly with the eagles. You can't do both. Hey, Jeff Kogi here, and uh, if you are listening to my voice, uh, it means that uh, you're listening to this on the probably a podcast, and uh, in this episode, I want to talk about the state of the real estate uh, lead generation and uh, marketing. Now, why did I decide to create an episode uh, called The State of Real Estate Lead Generation and Marketing is this is I got into a conversation, actually today, two conversations about uh, lead generation and uh, it kind of ties into why I was working late in the office, which is I'm writing a book and originally when I started writing this book, it was really tough to get the stuff down on paper. Why is because I was trying to write a book that one, um, I have success working with a lot of clients, right, which is online lead generation and uh, uh, helping uh, other businesses outside of even real estate to actually grow their business. But yeah, I was struggling. I got about 6,000 words down and then I couldn't get it done and the outline even took forever to, to do as well. But then I said, you know what? What am I, what do I actually know more than everyone else? And it dawned on me, which is I know real estate because I've been doing it for a long time. And not only that, but my biggest wins and my biggest successes has been in real estate. So I said, why am I fighting this? And even though my ego says I want to write something that's much wider, let's write a real estate book first. And so the book I'm gonna be launching is based on a series that I'm gonna be doing that's gonna be called the Effort Series where there's been times in my life, even with myself and uh, even with my clients, where, where basically people have said Effort and uh, you went out and did it. So this one is gonna be called Effort, the truth of uh, real estate lead generation and marketing. And I'm literally gonna just talk about exactly what I'm gonna talk about here, but in a shorter version. This is gonna be kind of the cleft notes of the actual book that I'm going to be writing about and all kind of sparked when I got in a conversation with uh, my good friend Jason and Jason has uh, uh, been my business partner for years now and uh, we started off in our journey of uh, real estate education uh, teaching other real estate professionals on how to actually market in the space of real estate right so so we got into it and he has different background than I do I'm more of a direct response type of guy and uh, uh, ads guy and he's been more of kind of relationship building and influencer marketing so it was a good mix uh, and it's great so I learned a lot and one of the newest things that he's launched has launched is something called uh, live stream right it's like how to actually create a show live stream and uh, he's used the model of literally what they call 10x referral system that he created which is literally using the other people's influences to be able to uh, grow your influence so you can get actual business from the other influencer right so you can definitely do that in the space of real estate and then also at the same time there's other component in the space of real estate of uh, uh, lead generation where where you got to mix it up with a direct response type of marketing as well so it's cool you get referral business you get influencers sending you business but also at the same time depending on what your business model is you're gonna have to make sure that you have some type of direct response marketing part of it okay so that's why I decided to actually create this book and write this book so I believe the book is going to be really good. Why? Is because it's been something that I I wrote about before, about three years ago. I wrote wrote a book, but it was more geared towards uh, real estate investing and wholesaling. Right, so I'm going to take some of the components in there, um, as well as update it with the new stuff that I've learned, and then. You know, around three years ago, I pivoted my business, my education business, from just strictly teaching only real estate investors to actually teaching uh, real estate agents. And the ma- funny thing about it, all of that, is that it was worked that much more easier for real estate agents. Well, I do know why it worked the easier is because one, they have a much bigger uh, pool, uh, meaning pool as in a pool to fish in or an ocean to fish in, right? They're talking about sellers and buyers, right? And it's a lot easier to scale. You don't find too many 
Fortune 500, you know, single family house flipping companies, right? But you do find some decent sized, uh, you know, real estate brokerages out there, okay? So that's why I decided to actually gear towards real estate uh, lead generation and gear towards uh, real estate agents as well as real estate uh, investors in this particular new book. But really, the state of real estate lead generation and marketing is quite simple. One, it's changing. All right, and it's changing really fast, literally like you blink. And my recommendation for uh, anyone who is just starting off is number one, learn direct response type of sales technique. Learn direct response type of marketing, which is uh, literally equates to your now money, okay? Meaning that, meaning that whatever you do, your campaign that you run, translate into money now. Why is that important? Is because real estate has a long sales cycle, right? Meaning that the the leads, uh, leads that you get, and when you get in conversation with these leads, converting them into a prospect, into an actual contract to closing, right? It's a long sales cycle. So you need to start contacting and doing direct response type of marketing to get into conversations with sellers. And how do you do that? Well, use something called data appending to actually get cell phone numbers and emails of sellers and buyers so you can get in front of them immediately. Another strategy you can do is do something called buying age data. So something that I like to call age data secrets where I teach people how to actually go to lead vendors and buy old data. Right now, why do I tell people to buy old data? Is because, as I said earlier, real estate is what? A long sales cycle. So a lot of these lead vendors that are selling leads, they're selling leads to uh, real estate investors or real estate agents, and they have a really, really, really poor follow-up system. So they think that these leads are bad, and they never follow up with them. Versus when you turn, turn around and you go buy old data from these lead vendors, I'm talking about leads that are, are a year old, two years old, three years old, four years old, as long as you have what, phone numbers and emails in them, you can buy them at pennies on the dollar. So when you do that and you actually run a campaign and say, hey, are you interested in, buy, uh, uh, interested in buying or selling and you send out these simple emails or even simple calls that you make, then you have a much higher propensity to actually convert those people because one, you know, at one time they opted into some type of lead vendors, lead capture site on the internet and they became a lead. It just happens to be they weren't ready at that time and they're now ready. Right, and when you do that kind of a uh, uh, strategy where you're buying age data from lead vendors, the cost of it is significantly lower. So, if anyone has bought leads from lead vendors, you know that most of them averages anywhere from eight dollars on the super low end. You know, mid tier is like ten to fourteen dollars a lead, and then high end stuff it can be you know twenty dollars plus, and the premium stuff is live transfers. Right, they can do live transfers for you, and you're paying anywhere from two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars a live transfer, but the the issue runs into cash flow management in the space of real estate where where even let's just for example use a premium stuff right like uh, live transfers okay where there are companies out there that will do the lead gen for you and you're paying per live transfers and on these live transfers uh, you have like 10 seconds to actually take a call and you can actually say okay end the call or not end the call and if you don't end the call you get charged okay um, and if you do that guess what do you convert yes but imagine if you have 10 of these for each Easy math. Let's just say it's at two hundred dollars that you're doing this, right? And, um, and if you're doing that, guess what? Each one is costing you two hundred dollars. Okay. So if you're doing two hundred dollars and you get ten of these, right? It's costing you two thousand dollars that you have to float. Now. In real estate, we have something called a DOM constraint, which is what, the days on market constraint. Regardless of how fast you wanna actually get a paycheck, right? It's going to fall down to the days on market as being your initial constraint. And when you fall under that constraint, on minimum, if you're doing real estate you know, agency work, right? And if your days on market in your local area is 60 days, 90 days, let's just say, use an example of 90 days, right? That means you have to float marketing dollars for at least three months, meaning that your cash out on minimum before you go through a boom and famine cycle, you have to be at what, $6,000 that you're, you're out before any of your first dollar comes back in, right? And when that comes back in, yeah, you know, the question is how many of those 10 did you actually close? Right, so if you have a 10% closing ratio on those live transfers at 10, which means it's not that bad, but let's just say you do, right? And if that's the case, you know, one deal. Now out of that one deal, how much commission did you actually make? Five grand? 
Well, keep in mind, you got six already out floating. Um, whatever the amount is, you still got float, right? So again, that's where the issue that I kept on running into when you're actually doing these premium live transfers. Now, if you go down from the premium live transfer down to, guess what? Um, just lead generation of buying premium leads is still $10 a pop. You still ran into an issue. And the biggest issue that you ran into is more, these sellers or buyers being hammered by other lead vendors. I mean, not lead vendors, uh, uh, other real estate professionals those right I'm talking about like hey other agents other investors right why is it because they opted in and these leads aren't exclusive and if anyone has ever read a contract on the terms and condition from a lead vendor even if they tell you it's exclusive right what they don't typically tell you is how long it's exclusive for and it'll have in their fine print that these leads are exclusive for anywhere between seven to ten days only and then from there they'll start selling it to someone else so when I started discovering all this stuff, I said, screw it, man. Let's just freaking do aged leads. And that's what I started to end up doing, which was buying aged leads and old data. And when you do that, you can get these stuff at 10 cents a record, 5 cents a record, right? Uh, 15 cents a record. But when you start getting them at less than like a quarter of a record, and then other people are paying $10 a record, you know, $20 a record, right? In the sheer sake of math, right, in terms of volume, you get more data. You get more bang for your buck. So, so for me, I like that model much better, right? So again, that's one of the ways, like, if you're just starting off, to be able to take advantage of um, and understanding what's happening in uh, lead generation. Other ways to be able to do this is what? Append data, right? Get raw data, uh, targeted raw data, like absentee owners, eviction, foreclosures, probates, whatever it is, and append that data. And when I say append, meaning is to add extra stuff to that actual data file. And when you do that, guess what? You're adding what? Cell phone number and emails from using a data pen company. When you do that, guess what? Boom, you instantly have now phone numbers and emails. Now, doing that strategy, it's still a flawed strategy. It's not a long-term winning strategy. Why is that? Is because you're not essentially creating a, a, a funnel. Right, you're not essentially creating a brand when you do that. So what you want to do is, uh, it's supplementary to that. Is you want to start creating a brand for yourself, a personal brand, as well as you want to start creating assets online organically that's going to come towards you, and you're able to generate leads without consistently or continuously keeping on paying for paid advertisement or paid data pending or paid what uh, age data. Okay, and when you start doing that kind of stuff, now you have multiple lead sources that you're gonna get organic leads, and then you have direct response type of leads that you get, and then from there you add a third component, which is that 10x referral where you start creating a platform where you can tap into other by me doing that, it's been able to dramatically uh, be able to sustain uh, not getting hurt by market shifts and market changes, right? My mentor, uh, his name was Bart originally when I learned how to market, he passed away now, uh, and he was considered to be kind of like the Michael Jordan of uh, marketing and real estate. He was the first one in the actual uh, real estate community to start uh, the vanity phone number, right? He was the first one to have something called 1-800-NO-AGENT, and uh, it's a phone number that I use locally here in Los Angeles, and he also had 1-800-SOLD-FAST, 1-800-CASH-FOR-HOUSES, and uh, uh, some of his past clients are guys like Than Merrill from like A&E, you know, Flip This House, another guy that was was, was his client was Preston Ely. Um, he's known as an internet marketer, real estate guy, right? Another guy is Mike Collins uh, and stuff like that. And his, his clientele was literally long, okay? When I saw that, I was shocked. And these guys, okay, right? These guys, if you say their name like Dan Merrill, you know their name, right? Used to pay him anywhere from 20 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand a month uh, to run their marketing for them. And he would actually obviously lease out the vanity phone number as well as uh, actually run the Google PPC campaigns for them, right? So now he said an interesting thing I still remember to this day, and he used to say this. He said, Jeffy, you can either walk with the turkeys or fly with the eagles. You can't do both. And he used to say that. And then he would follow up with using examples of saying like, you know, and I'll be like, why? What are you talking about? And they would be like, look, the a turkey and the eagle, they have the same thing. They got a beak, they got feathers, and they're a bird. But these two types of birds are not exactly the same, right? A turkey can't fly sustainable to what? 
being hunted down as well as they can be eaten for Thanksgiving versus a eagle, guess what? They're flying and soaring in the actual sky and an eagle uh, never uh, has any known predators. Right, So he would say, Jeffy boy, you can either fly with the eagles or walk with the turkeys. And as he explained the difference between the eagle and the turkey, that's what he said where in, in, in real estate, you have to do the exact same thing. And he says a lot of people call themselves investors, but in reality, they're turkeys. They're sustainable to market changes. Why? It's because they're all transactional. They focus, they're only good as their last transaction. Versus me, he said, I'm, a, I'm an eagle because I have the platform to actually generate leads. And not only that, I can cherry pick the deals as well as um, I have income from having this platform and those are some of the things that I learned and that's when he said hey real estate is all about marketing your real estate business you're not in the business of you know as a real estate investor and for me that stuck with me like forever now and I think it's a message that everyone should definitely uh, learn and those are some of the stuff that I'm gonna be talking about heavily in the book which is going to be real estate centric on this first book officially I think it will change the whole industry because I'm gonna talk about stuff that no one else talks about. I'm not gonna talk about stuff that you can just Google and you can just find answer to no it's gonna be literally in the trenches, got my nails dirty, uh, took some bruises, took some iron fists and things that I've learned on what works, what doesn't work and how people can actually learn the the thinking pattern and then the strategy behind how to get a winning campaign because again the best marketers are the ones that lose a lot of money why is because they lost a lot of money they know how to actually win right so so that's what uh, I have for you on this kind of this state of uh, the union addressed of real estate marketing and lead generation is that as we're moving forward in technology you know you got to know a couple things where you currently stand as your business are you just starting off are you in the growing phase are you in the growing Aggressive growth phase are you in the spin-off phase of your business right those are different phases and depending on where you're at in the phases of business your strategy on lead generation and marketing is going to differ and based on that you have to put the right strategy in place uh, to win and sustain growth in your marketplace otherwise when the next market change happens but you got to position yourself that you're not a turkey you got to make sure that you're an eagle so regardless of what happens on the ground level right you're going to still keep on soaring and flying and start making money still making money as well as impacting people's lives so that's what i got for you this is jeff Kogan on this late drive home podcast episode and video that i created if you enjoyed this episode let me know in the actual review section as well as go to jeffkoga.live and feel free to uh, hit me up there so that's what i got love y'all take care and bye-bye